By the late 1960s, you know, British power in the Middle East is, has been in decline for, at least for a long time. Um, the turning point is Suez, of course, the Suez Crisis, um, when Britain loses control of the Suez Canal. And although the British want to maintain their position uh, in the Persian Gulf, um, because they have such significant um, financial and oil interests. The reality is that it's not sustainable. Britain is experiencing a massive economic crisis in the late 1960s, um, has to turn to the IMF for loans, um, and the uh, Labour government of Harold Wilson decides that um, Britain really has to make a fundamental change in its foreign policy, turning away from empire uh, and towards Europe. British would have to um, lay the groundwork for the uh, regional security framework after they had left. The United States was not willing to play that role, to fill that vacuum. The US, is, you have to remember in 1968, this is the time, uh, the peak of the Vietnam War. And so this means that the local powers themselves will have to manage the security of the region. They begin to try to uh, uh, create some kind of um, understanding uh, between Iran and Saudi Arabia, but this is very difficult because there are significant tensions between Iran and Saudi Arabia. There is a kind of delicate period of negotiation. A lot of territorial disputes have to be resolved. The Bahrain question, um, uh, the whole issue of these uh, islands, Abu Musa and the Toms. Each one of them could be a tripwire for some kind of regional conflict. But then, of course, in 1969, the Nixon administration comes to office, and this strengthens the Shah's hand considerably. And uh, he begins to um, assert Iran's um, uh, dominance in the region.